In this section, we're going to take the sample gadget that we just created that gave gifts to our friends and modify it a little bit so that we can see the gifts after we've given them. We're going to start by modifying our give to gift function so that instead of just updating data, it also requests data back. In our data request object, we're going to specify that in addition to updating the viewer's application data, we also request information on the viewer, the viewer friends, and the personal information storage of the viewer. In the load friends function, we're also going to do something similar, so that when we load our list of friends and our viewer friends, we also request the personal application storage of the viewer. We're going to make these two requests parallel each other so that when we initialize the gadget or give a gift, we can send the callback the same set of information. Then we modify our onload friends function so that in addition to specifying the viewer and the viewer friends, we pull out the gift data, which is the list of gifts that we've given. Again, we create the list of friends as a selection menu, and then once that has been inserted into the page, we call the update gift list function, which will display the list of gifts that we have given. Update gift list pulls information out of the data array that we have given it, specified by the viewer ID and the key of gifts, which is where our information is stored. We then take this data and convert it back from a JSON string into a JavaScript object that we can use. Once we have this object, which is a pairing of a friend ID and a gift ID, we can convert that into a string which specifies the friend that we have given the gift to and the gift that we have given them. We can then insert this list into the page as HTML. Finally, we make a small change to the gadget XML file so that we have somewhere to insert the HTML. Here's a new version of our gadget that now displays the list of gifts that we've given, so that when I click on the Give Gift button, it shows up in the list below. For more information on what I just showed you and more information on the social API, please check out the tutorial on code.google.com under the Open Social section.